Hello, hello, and welcome to your watercolor kit paint along video. We're going to have so much fun. I'm so excited. Let's get into it. So now we're ready to get into the corn, and this is where it's going to be really fun. Um, when we're doing these corns, um, these ears of corn, um, they are going to have like lots of little different colors. And what we're going to do is have it be darker around the edge and then lighter in the middle. So we don't want a ton of water on this paintbrush because we don't want it to get all sloppy. So just a little bit and we're going to get pretty dark here. Um, so pretty pigmented. You can go right up into your paint. And just grab the paint directly from the top. If it if you need to add a little bit more water, that's fine. And I'm gonna just lightly dab it on my paper towel. And I'm just gonna start painting a few here and there. But as we paint, so you can just fill it in. Okay. But then I'm gonna have you grab your other brush, and this one, this is gonna be a smaller brush, so I'm using my size one for this. I'm just gonna absorb a little bit from the middle. Just a little bit. And I probably made this one way too dark, but. So here I'm just using this as like a little way to kind of dab out the middle. And if you, if we can zoom in, that will show you how basically what we're doing is we're just painting the whole area with a flat wash. It's just very tiny. And then we're using the lift technique. So that's the, the technique that's kind of like where you're using your paintbrush as a mop to pull up some of that color and just make sure you're drying your brush in between everyone. And we're just gonna keep doing this. Um, we do not have to do all the kernels, um, but if you want to, go for it. So I'm just gonna do a couple red and then we'll dig into some other colors. So when you're painting watercolor, most watercolor artists do not use a white paint. And that is because the paper of your watercolor painting acts as that white. So if there's a part that you want to leave totally white, like a highlight or that little twinkle in the eye or maybe a reflection or something like that, you are gonna wanna make sure that you just don't paint that part of the page. So unlike acrylic or oil paint, when you can just add that white paint at the end. Typically with watercolor, you're gonna start with your lightest and go to your darkest colors. So we started with the kind of light outside and now we're bringing in that heavily, more heavily saturated red corn kernels. Um, we're gonna get all the colors in here too. I love these like jewel toned pieces of corn. They're so pretty. I've never eaten one though, I really want to. Kind of a corn snob, because I grew up in Ohio. For some of these, you'll see that I'm doing kind of a little bit of a different technique where I paint around the circle, paint the edges, and then I leave the inside blank and then I dry off my, clean off my paintbrush, get it totally dry, and then I just add a little bit. I just kind of blend it together. Use that lifting technique. So it's kind of like, do you put it, the paint on first or and then lift, or do you leave that white space to begin with? It's really dealer's choice. It should all work because you're working with wet paint. Once the paint is dry, you are kind of stuck. So if you're painting and you do want to add some white and you've missed the highlight, it is of course okay if you want to use maybe one of those white jelly roll pens or a little Posca marker or any sort of white paint to bring that highlight. The watercolor police aren't going to come get you. I hope you enjoyed the preview of this design from our watercolor kit. Stay tuned for the process video in super speedy mode. If it looks like fun, check out our watercolor kits with the links in the video description below to learn how you too can paint a fun design like this.